Hello, algebra students. This video is for my level two algebra students, second period, third period, and eighth period. Yay! All right. If you're watching this and you're not in one of those classes, you are watching the wrong video. Okay, here we go. So yesterday we learned, or I should say on Tuesday we learned, about how to graph absolute value functions, right? And we learned that the vertex, right, was found at h k right you remember that and i got my highlighter out because i'm special and i highlighted the h why did i highlight the h because it changed signs do you see it the h changed signs it was a minus h inside the absolute value it's a positive h outside the absolute value all right k just stayed the same and then i also found that one, I could find the two slopes. So I found the first slope, and that was just by doing rise over run. And then I found my second slope, which was the rise over the negative run. Now, I want to point out that I also realized this will be a V-shaped graph. But if my number in m's position is negative, this oh, where'd you go? This m right here. If it's in an, if it's a negative, then the v will be opening downward, right? Okay. Let's go ahead and look at a couple examples. I'm going to do this one for you. I'm going to walk you through it, and then I'm going to have you pause the video for two more examples. Okay. Now remember, your homework this weekend is obviously to watch this video, and it's also to get that chapter review done. Okay, so I've got this equation, y equals 2 times the absolute value of x minus 4 minus 1. Step 1, find the vertex. Well, my vertex is going to be at 4, negative 1. So, that's my vertex. There's going to be two slopes. Well, the first slope it's just going to be a plane 2 over 1. The second slope is going to be 2 over negative 1. All right. So let me plot this point. 4, negative 1. 4, negative 1. There we go. And now I'm going to use the slope of 2 over 1. So I'm going to go 1, 2 over 1 like that. And then I'm going to go from there, one, two, and over one like that. Okay. Here, I'm going to rise two and go back one. This is the two over negative one part. And then I'm going to go rise two and go back one. All right, now I can draw my graph in. I'm going to get a nice V shape. Now, the ones we did in class usually were beautiful 90 degree angles. This one's not. This one's some acute angle. I wonder why. Well, if you are wondering why, I can assure you that it has everything to do with this number right here. If that number's a one, you'll get a nice 90 degree angle. If it's a negative one, you'll get a negative, you'll get a 90 degree angle opening downward. If it's bigger than one, you're going to get an acute angle because it's rising more than it's running. If it's a, an, a, a fraction between zero and one, like you know one third or two fifths, it's going to run more than it rises and you'll get an obtuse angle. All right, pretty simple stuff. Okay, let's go to the next problem. Here you go. I want you to find all the parts, find the slope, uh, excuse me, find the uh, vertex, find the two slopes, and graph it. When you're done, you can unpause the video and see what I came up with. All right, here comes my solution. First of all, the vertex, the vertex is sitting at negative 1, negative 2. All right, negative 1, negative 2. So let me 
let's see, I think it'd be right about here, right? Okay. From there, my slopes are 1 fourth and 1 over negative 4. So I'm going to rise 1 and run 1, 2, 3, 4. And then again, I'm going to rise 1 and run 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. Now, if you haven't figured it out, parabolas are perfectly symmetrical. So you could always 1, 2, Graph them using symmetry. Yep, that would work. All right, negative 5 would be negative 1. There we go. And then I can draw my lines in. Hmm, looks like that's off a little bit. Okay, there you go. Okay, one more problem. There it is right there. Again, pause the video, do it on your own, and then unpause to see my solution. Here comes mine. My vertex, in this case, is going to be 0, 6. 0, 6. All right. My slopes are going to be negative 2 over 1, which means I'm going to go down 2, right 1, and then from there I'm going to go down 2 and right 1, just like that. And then down 2 and right one to there. So your graph should look exactly like that. I knew it was going to open downward because the two is negative. Yeah, the two is negative. All right, there it is. That's your video. Don't forget to get your assignments done. Having a quiz on Wednesday of next week. Mr. Lord signing off. Have a good night, everybody.